Will be here tonight for this magnificent overseas passenger terminal in Sydney Circular B, or watching live on Sky News around Australia. Let me welcome you to the launch of Generation One, everybody. Can we round the doors? Great to see so many familiar faces here tonight, and on your behalf, I recognise the traditional owners of the land, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. Pay my respects to their elders, past and present. Ladies and gentlemen, we're present tonight at the birth of something special. A new movement to channel the passion that millions of us, millions of us around Australia, have to end the disparity that exists between the opportunities and living standards of Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. The idea and the support for Generation One has come from three individuals Ladies and gentlemen, in particular, I'd like to point out tonight and acknowledge Mr. Andrew Forrest, Mr. Gary Stokes, and Mr. James Packer. Please give a round. <laughs> and it has been supported, ladies and gentlemen, by many well-known Australians, from the government, from the opposition, from business and entertainment, and many of them are here tonight. If I could give a collective round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for our Prime Minister, Kevin Rudd. The Minister for Indigenous Affairs, Jenny Macklin. The Minister for Housing, Minister for Status for Women, Tanya Blevisi. The Minister for Employment Participation, Senator Mark Abid. The Deputy Leader of the Opposition, Julie Bishop. The Premier of New South Wales, Christina Keneally. The International Faces of Australia, ladies and gentlemen. Jeffrey Garamond, Christine Arnu, Kate Blanchett, Jack Thompson and Russell Crowe. Please give them a warm welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight for all of us to put the past behind us and to ensure that this is the last Indigenous generation not to be given an equal chance to succeed through employment, through training and through education. It's about keeping kids at school, giving them apprenticeships, supporting them through university to give their communities hope. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an historic night. Everyone here is conscious that we're standing on the shoulders of giants. Inspiring Indigenous leaders like Charlie Perkins, Larissa O'Donoghue and of course Eddie Marbo. And I list idealistic politicians of all persuasions. Every generation though has its own mission. Theirs was recognition and equal rights. Ours is lifting economic participation. So tonight we start a new push for economic justice for all Australians. We're going to celebrate what we've already achieved, ladies and gentlemen, and build on the next generation, starting tonight with a fantastic celebration of Australian culture. And what better backdrop to have tonight than being here in the magnificent Sydney Opera House, which will play a living role in tonight's activities. In a few moments' time, we'll hear from the man who has driven this idea, Andrew Forrest. But first, it's a pleasure to ask Rhonda Dixon, Grover to come forward to welcome to country on behalf of the Gadigal people, everyone here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Rhonda Dixon Grover. 